Here's the situation. You're one of a group of astronauts aboard the International Space Station orbiting the Earth when it is struck by a piece of space junk. The space station is losing air fast. You have only one chance of survival. There's an emergency escape pod that can fit one astronaut. To decide which astronaut survives, ground control sets a difficult multiplication problem. The astronaut that solves it first gets to board the escape pod. Electromagnetic interference has rendered your calculator, smartphone and computer inoperable. What are you going to do? Call the multiplication guy! It's time to multiply with the multiplication guy! I'm going to show you an easy way to solve difficult multiplication problems. For example, 111 times 5,824. If you have a pen and a piece of paper, you can work along with me. The first thing you need to do is draw a box. Subdivide the box into three columns, because the first number, 111, has three digits. You also have to subdivide the box into four rows, because 5824 has four digits. You end up with a box subdivided into 12 smaller boxes. Next, draw a diagonal line through each of the 12 small boxes. You might find you can draw a diagonal through more than one of the smaller boxes at a time. That's step one. Draw a box. Subdivide it into smaller boxes and draw diagonals through them. Next, write the first number, 111, along the top of the box, so each digit lines up with a column. Write 5824 down the right-hand side of the box, so each digit lines up with a row. Now we're ready to do some multiplication and fill in the blanks with our answers. You'll need to know your times tables. If you're stuck, you can look up a multiplication chart. But you can't use a calculator because it's not working on the space station. I'm just going to start multiplying and show you how to fill in the blanks. Let's start in the top right hand corner although you could start anywhere else if you want to. 1 times 5 is 5. 5 is less than 10, so put the 5 below the diagonal and a 0 above. 1 times 8 is 8. Again, put the 8 below the diagonal and a 0 above. 1 times 2 is 2. 1 times 4 is 4. Now, I've just noticed that the other two columns also involve multiplying 1 by the same set of numbers. So the answers are going to be exactly the same. So we can just copy our answers over. That's step 2. Multiply and fill in the blanks with your answers. Finally, we're going to add up the numbers along the diagonals. I'll circle each diagonal and show you what I mean. The first diagonal only has one number, 4. So write 4 directly below the diagonal. The next diagonal has three numbers, 2, 0 and 4. 4 plus 0 plus 2 is 6. Write 6 below the diagonal. 8 plus 2 plus 4 
is 14. Write the 4 below the diagonal and carry the 1 across to the next diagonal. 1 plus 5 plus 8 plus 2 is 16. Write the 6 next to the diagonal and carry the 1 over to the next diagonal. 1 plus 5 plus 8 is 14. Write the 4 next to the diagonal and carry the 1 over to the next diagonal. 1 plus 5 is 6. The final diagonal only has the number 0 in it, so write 0 next to the diagonal. Now we just read off the answer. The first number is 0, so we don't need to include that. 6, 4, 6, 4, 6, 4. 111 times 5,824 equals 646,464. I'm going to check the answer on my calculator, but I'm allowed to do that because I'm not on board the space station. 111 times 5,824 equals 646,464. So the answer's correct. That's why they call me the Multiplication Guy.